What's up? This is Troy Datsik. I'm fucking with vibe to this.com. You should too. Peace. Well, me and Aoki hooked up on um, the Identity Tour, basically. Uh, that was about the time when like, I, I was deciding, because I, I had made an album and I'm, I'm, I was kind of deciding what to do with it, either like to go with the, go on the Dead Mouse, or try to get it on Dead Mouse's label, or try to do, you know, Alza at the time wasn't really doing anything, it, it just started. So I was either do that, do that, or Dim Mac was another option. And Steve was really, really enthusiastic about it. We got on the phone, we talked for like maybe an hour and a half, two hours on the phone just like about like what he would do for me and I pretty much was just sold based on his character because he was such a cool guy and he seems like thoroughly excited about it, you know what I mean? And like that's kind of what, what, what drove me towards Dimac was just the fact that, you know, it just seemed like everyone that I talked to from the Dimac camp seemed really, really fucking cool. So that's pretty much what did it. The thing is, there's been so many that it's hard to like, I mean, every single time there's a big show and it goes over really well, I usually end up going and after partying with whatever kids in whatever cities, just because it's fun, right? It's like, I'm only going to be young once, so I might as well just fucking embrace it and just go party and have fun with a bunch of people, you know? So it's really hard just to pick just one story. He basically came over to my house because he, he had a show in Kelowna, which is my home city. So he, he was in Kelowna and he came and stayed at my house and uh, we just, at the time I was living with my mom. So we sit in my bedroom, right? I have like my idol sitting right beside me, we're working on tracks and like my mom comes in and asks us if we want, you know, sandwiches. And I was just like, and then Bass Nectar ended up like, because my mom is really like really chill and she's like from Africa and whatever and Bass Nectar is also really fucking cool and he's super cultural so they ended up just clicking and talking about just random shit for like two hours and just like just you know just chatting and you know I, it got to the point where I was like okay Lauren like dude I know my mom's dope and all but you know let's, we have to work on music dude and he's like oh yeah 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 you know like just totally forgot about what we were doing and just, cool. just chatting with my mom like, like yeah He's like, he's super cool. Yeah, so it was it was really cool. It was really cool having him over and like even my mom was like, When is Lauren coming back? You know, you're so he's such a nice guy, you know. He's like, Why can't you be like Lauren? <laughs> I'm like, Well, you know, I'm trying, whatever. He's a good role model, so whatever. My whole thing comes from like my the way I make music and the way I've always listened to music is based on like just like snowboarding and stuff because like I've always been snowboarding so like snowboarding and music have always been my two passions in life so whenever I go snowboarding I get inspired to make music whenever I make music I get inspired to go snowboarding so I don't spend enough time in BC anymore to really say that my sound sounds BC-ish you know what I mean it's just like I'm I'm in the states pretty much more than more than I'm in Canada now so it's like I mean I don't know constantly changing constantly evolving constantly mashing with other stuff. So hard to say, I don't know. I'm doing my album with Denmark. Um, I actually also just started a record label as well. Uh, I started a record label, uh, it's called Firepower. And it's basically like, it's like my, my imprint that I wanna have in the dubstep scene. Like, it's, I'm really, really excited about it too. Like, this is brand new shit. And I'm really stoked because all the tracks that I've been playing my sets over the last, you know, however long, you know, I'm, I'm reaching out to these artists because they're up and comers and whatever, and I'm like, dude, I really want to put this out to the public and I feel like I'm in the right spot to do so, and you know, and I just put out the first release like three days ago, four days ago, and uh, it was by AFK, this this dude from, uh, he's from Dallas, and then another dude, his little guy, he's from, from the UK, and, uh, put them together both on one EP, they remixed each other's tracks, so it's a 10 track EP, which is like an album pretty much. 
and uh, yeah, it's it's fucking sick. Like I've gotten great feedback from it, and I'm really happy. Like I don't care about the money. I don't care about shit. All I care about is just putting out quality music that I think is dope that would contribute to the dubstep scene mm -hmm. or whatever scene. It doesn't it doesn't even have to be dubstep. It can be any tempo. Oh. I don't even care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dope. <laughs> <laughs>